Yo, what is going on guys? Drake here with WCCF Tech TV, and today I have a video for you guys about AMD Ryzen. So the Ryzen CPUs have been out not even a full week yet at the time of this recording, and over the past few weeks we've gotten an endless amount of content about Ryzen, so in this video we're actually going to discuss the aftermath of the launch of AMD Ryzen. Let's dive right into it. So Ryzen 7 launched on March 2nd, and every big tech reviewer or blog seemed to have got their hands on it and put those chips to the test. The general consensus from most of the mainstream media shows that AMD has been a pretty solid success with Ryzen. We saw Ryzen near Intel's $1,000 range processors and packages that were just about half of that price, but was there anything missing in Ryzen? Did AMD miss out on perhaps even more opportunity to bounce back against Intel? Let's dive deeper and find out some more info about these questions. So you guys might or might not know, prior to AMD Ryzen releasing, we were receiving leaks, rumors, and all sorts of info left and right. Within that frenzy, there were some test results and benchmarks that had Ryzen looking to fare incredible in just about every scenario. However, after Ryzen's launch, we saw that these CPUs performed just about up to par and as expected using the pre-release info leaks, except for the gaming performance that is. We saw some incredible numbers from Ryzen in terms of professional workload, synthetic benchmarks, but throw a few games at it and it seems to perform a little bit more humble. In most situations, we see Ryzen a little bit short of Intel's KB Lake and Broadwell E-chips when it comes to gaming performance. Aside from this info, however, I'd say Ryzen did pretty well in terms of numbers and performing up to par. Sure, Ryzen falls back in gaming performance, but it's so darn good everywhere else, you really can't complain. AMD also had a AMA recently on Reddit, and this is where we found some of AMD's answers to some issues with Ryzen. When one Reddit user asked about the discrepancy in gaming benchmarks, AMD replied by basically saying that since Ryzen is brand new, a few titles aren't optimized for it just yet, but they guarantee that they will work on it to bring the latest and greatest performance to their customers. While Ryzen is still fresh, it looks like AMD is handling things pretty well so far, we will see how that continues to change over time. There was a ton of statements from AMD in the Reddit AMA, so if you want to view everything they said, the link to the article will be down in the description below as always, and there you can find all the info, replies, and full article. That will wrap up this video guys, thank you so much for watching WCCF Tech TV. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, let me know what you guys think of these new Ryzen launches, were they a success, were they a failure, let me know, and signing off this is Drake, I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace.